guys, it's me, Anime Worlds 21, or Michelle. And I know I said I would never do a tutorial because I'm a horrible teacher. I still think I am, but I decided to do this because I finished my episode and I have nothing else to do, so why not? So, um, by the way, sorry if I fumble a little bit, sometimes I do that when I talk. And um, this is my first time doing it, so you might be hearing a lot of ums and oohs when I do this. Plus, uh, hypercam, I don't know, sometimes it glitches when I talk, so I might have to fix that later. But, anyway, today I'm teaching you how to do a smooth animation for walking and standing for your characters. And a smooth walking animation for me, when I animate, is this. See? Smooth! Nice walking animation. The reason why I'm teaching you this is because sometimes animators have that problem when they have a character and they're walking in standing frames. Sometimes when they walk or stand, it looks like, I don't know, they're zooming in and out. Or they're moving side to side. Or in, Ma in my character's Mavi's case, where I saved his frames, he looks like he's standing still when he walks. So something like this. So like if you have this sort of problem, where it doesn't look as smooth, I'm going to teach you how to fix that and make him walk like Enzo. So, um, I'm going to get rid of this. So, this is how you do it. So, open your um, editing program. I use paint.net, so... Uh, you see this frame that your character's in? Usually your character is saved in a smaller frame. And that frame is actually supposed to capture what your character has on. Or, and stuff, so... If your character has a custom hair, like my character Mavi, or in other cases something like this character of michael that i made just for this occasion where they have a tail or a cape usually band story will save that image to match the frame that the tail or cape in or custom hair is in so if your tail or cape has an animation it's going to save it so you see michael's tail has an animation so it saved the frame weird Making it weird now. See? Terrible teacher. <laughs> but anyway, for me, I save my um, frames to have a size and width. The frame, the size of the frame is 100 width and 100 height. So you're going to do that with your frames. So, yeah, Mavi, you go into images, select canvas size. And then you hit a hundred, or you put a hundred, a hundred, and voila! See, you got the frame. And I think when, if you are doing this right now and you're trying to follow me, you're gonna, if you're trying to follow me, you're gonna have this white border, possibly if you don't know how to do this. So when you resize it, sometimes you'll have this white border around it, and you'll be like, "Why do I have this white border? How come it's not doing the way she did it?" So, what you're going to do here is that it's usually your secondary color. If your secondary color is white or whatever color fill it's in, it's going to make a border around your character when you resize it. So what you want to do is get your color picker and you hit, you right click it and it'll change your secondary color to this transparent color. So now when you resize it, the border won't be there. Um, but if you have that border right now, you can just use your uh, magic wand, click the white space, and cut it. But the reason why I don't do it like this anymore is because it saves more time if I do it the other way, where I have the secondary color as a transparent color. And plus, uh, sometimes your character has some white frames around it, and you might accidentally erase it, so that's why I do it this way. So yeah, change all your frames to a size of 100, 100. And bam, you got your frames to match. But now, well when you have your frames like this, you'll see how your character moves already by clicking the frames. And right now, you can see that Mavi is not moving the way that Enzo was. And that's because he's in a still frame. So what you want to do is that your second, your second walk frame and your fourth walk frame, you're going to move your character down by one. So you, first, you select your move selected pixels here. 
click your character. Then with your down arrow key on your keyboard, you hit it one time and he'll go down. So you do that, do the same thing to your fourth character, or fourth frame character, whatever, for your walk frame. And you do the same thing. So your third and fourth frame should be at the same place. So now, when he walks, he walks perfectly. Okay, so now you're going to save all your frames. I'm doing this slowly so that hypercam doesn't glitch my voice, so sorry if I'm going a little slow. Okay, so now that you got all your saved frames, you're going to go to your Sony Vegas. You're going to open and go get your files. So, as you notice in Enzo's files, it's just one whole file and not separate where separate images with the frames. I actually used to do that before in TCOF, but uh, my friend Grim taught me a cool advice. S he was so helpful and he taught me how to merge all these layers, um, uh, blah, 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 frames together. So I'm going to teach you how to do that. So, first you click the first, fra uh, first frame of uh, your walking animation. So for Mavi's case, it would be this image that I named 6. And the reason I'm going to teach you this is because, uh, the reason why I named it like this is because if you have numbers as your frames and for example if you clicked uh, um, Michael's frame it's immediately going to put in his frame as the first one but then it's going to add in um, Mavi's frames too because uh, it's uh, the same names in numerical order, order and stuff so if you have something like that what you want to do is that for example if I just want Michael's frames in I'll just take away this 9 and put in a 5 and it'll immediately just not take in Mavi's frames and just put in Michael's frames. But in this case, I just want Mavi's frames. So I'll just immediately go to 9 and that's what I need. So once you have your frames, or you know which frames are in and what you want, you hit this, you click this box of open still image sequence and then you just open. And then what you want to change in here is just the frame rate. So what you do, for me, for my frame rate, for w normal walking frame rate, I put in 5. If you want them to seem like they're running, I put in a frame of 7. Or if you want them to walk really slowly, like they're sleepy or something, you put in 3. But for a normal walking frame rate, I put in 5. But it's up to you how fast or slow you want them to walk. So press OK. Then you got your character. But now, when you see your character walking, you notice that he kind of transitions weirdly. Like, you can see him transitioning during his walk. Or her walk, whatever. So what you want to do is right-click your character, go to Properties, then Disable Resample. And then that will immediately make him walk normally. Now, your character walks normally like Enzo! Yay! Clappity clap, clap, clap. So now I'm going to teach you how to do that with the standing animation. So basically it's the same thing. So you just resize your character frames to 100. I kind of had to resize this because I accidentally recorded this before, but then my audio glitched, so I had to do this again. So originally Michael was moving side to side, but this is basically the same thing. So you want your character to be in the same area for each frame to make it look smooth. So first, you use your move pixel thing, and then move your character to match the frame that you want. So see? There, I matched him to his frame. Do this thing with the other characters, and match him to frame. So now that you have saved your things, do the same thing you did with your walking animation, and go get your stuff. So see? I got Michael, the first frame I want, sorry put in, but I don't want him to grab in the Mavi walk frame, so I put in 5. This won't happen if you just have the same, same name like Michael walk 1, Michael walk 2, and you have that up to 5, and Mavi was Mavi walk from 1 to 4, and you wouldn't need to do this, but I'm just showing you this if you do name your stuff like this. So yeah, grab your walk, your stand-in frames. Do the same thing you did with your walking frames. 
For standing frames, I like to put in a frame rate of 2. But it's up to you how fast or how slow you want them to move their body. So, you got your standing animation. Oops, sorry, my phone is ringing. Okay. Sorry. So, you disable it. And now, you have a smooth standing frame. So, that's basically it, guys. I hope you learned something. I hope I teached you well enough to understand. And I hope maybe I did a good job. If you guys don't understand anything, just put in the comments below and I'll try to explain it to you more clearly. Uh, but if you have any suggestions on what you want to learn from me, I will take in those suggestions now since I have nothing to do. Um, but yeah, put in the comments what you think and I hope maybe I helped you. Anyway, thanks for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'll try to do better next time. Okay, bye guys! Bye-bye.